Hi, welcome back to Technique of the Week. My name is Shihan Marty Noel, and I'm glad you could join us. Today we're going to be working on a technique called the figure four. Uh, we've actually used this in conjunction with a couple other techniques previously, but I want to go a little bit more into detail on how to set somebody up for this particular movement. Essentially what happens is we can use this, generally you're going to use this off a grab or a, a push. Uh, could potentially work with a punch, but we're going to do it today off a push. So as he leans into me, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cover and I'm going to basically move on to the outside of his body. Remember, as we said before, if I'm here, I'm on his inside. If I'm here, I'm on his outside. And conversely, if I'm here, I'm on his outside as well. So as he comes in, I'm, I'm working on the cover. Now, I might go into an arm bar, but if he bends his arm, I'm basically going to facilitate and kind of go with the flow and I'm going to, as I hold on to his wrist here, I'm going to grab my wrist and I'm going to bring him directly back. Now as I apply this and I bring it back, I'm going to actually go to the outside corner. If I go straight back at this angle, he can kind of, re go ahead and resist me. He can resist, but if I go to this angle here, it's a lot harder for him to uh, resist the movement. So again, I'm going to cover. I probably am going to do some kind of pattern interrupt. He's trying to push me, punch me, grab me, whatever. I'm basically going to block and then strike his head. I could do it with a palm heel. I could do it with a hammer fist. I could do it with a, um, a straight punch. As I hit him here, do some type of pattern interrupt, most likely he's going to bring his arm up. He's going to flinch. So if I come here, he's going to bring that arm up. So again, he comes in and tries to grab me. I hit him here. He brings that arm up. As I hit him, I'm going to bring him back to here. Now, as I do this, go, we'll go ahead and turn for the camera here. As I come in and, and bring his arm up here, I don't want to go straight back. If I go straight back, he can resist me, and, and it's harder for me to make the technique work. So what I want to do is once I'm back here, I'm actually going to go off at an oblique angle here so that he's weaker, he's hard, it's harder for him to resist the movement. Again, he comes in, I'm gonna cover, strike, whatever you wanna do as far as a, a pattern interrupt. As he brings that arm up, I'm gonna to come to here and I'm gonna bring him back. We're just fitting in for now. And um, we are gonna do a takedown next, okay? So as he comes in, I cover strike here, pop to the ground, and then at this point, I can go ahead and lock uh, his do a uh, lock on his wrist. Basically, I'm grabbing the wrist here, holding the, the hand, putting pressure more on the knuckles, and then pressing my, my shin against his neck, and then lifting up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and work it from the other side. So slow motion, cover, strike, cover, strike, here, bring this up, take him down. As I get him off balance, I then step behind him and take him down to the ground. One more, slow motion. The goal is to be on the outside. If I was to open them up, I would have to bring them around and then go into the movement from there. If you're closing, actually if you're closing them down, you're already in position. If I open them up and I strike, I bring them to here, and I go ahead and hit him and then bring the arm through. So again, closing, I'm already in position for the strike and then bring the figure four in. <clears throat> if I'm here, I've got to sweep down, maybe hit him twice. All right, depends on how he, his body reacts to my defense against his push or grab. All right, so that's the figure four. Again, the important parts of this are he's either reaching to grab me or he's pushing me. All I'm doing is I'm working off to the outside. I'm going to strike his head to get, a more, uh, to get him more compliant. I don't want to necessarily just try and move his arm. He's going to resist me. I want to change up his, his focus. It's a, called a pattern interrupt. So the idea is to cover, strike, and then take him back. Once I get him off balance here, I step through and take him right down. And then from here, I just lock right off. And that is the 
the arm lock once we take them to the ground. So this is a good technique for taking someone to the ground to neutralize someone who's trying to grab you or push. All right, thanks for joining us. I hope you have fun working that technique, and we'll see you in a future video.